Whew. Just went for the, to the washroom and uh, it is, temperature has dropped. Now that's a, that's when you know it's cold. <laughs> it is freezing out here, man. But it's really beautiful. Oh my God, that's what the sun looks like. But at least the potential of sun, nice blue sky. Beautiful. Let's check the temperature. Check that temperature. I'll keep it back here so I can just kind of balance it. Yeah, we're rolling in minus 21. Ooh, it is freezing cold out here. I woke up to a different world and it's good. I'll definitely get some coffee on this morning. No rush out the door. Oh, a little bit more snow last night too. Ooh, it's cold. I'm just in my long underwear. <laughs> but, oh friggin' right. Let's see if that brings a change in the fishing too. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Beautiful morning. And it'll be one of those mornings where please start. Please, please start. Oh, let's get back in there. Burr. I had to rig some up to, to, to support my pipe because the part that I had obviously didn't work. So I found this old grill and I bent it and I just tied it on to hold it up. Crikey. Oh. There. In here. Oh yeah, that was toasty though, completely toasty. And like, cause I let the fire go out, it was nice. It's nice when the sun's coming in. It's pretty, when it's gray, it's kind of dull and gloomy. Little sunlight on my sleeping bag. Yep, that is a beautiful thing. For sure. Oh my goodies. Making some fresh pressed coffee, just warming up the glass so it doesn't shatter when I put the cold water in or the hot water in. Yeah. It's awesome. I think I'm gonna have a bite to eat, have some breakfast here, and some coffee. Whoa, look at that nest. Uh and then I'm gonna there's a there's a trail I want to explore um, that I've never been down that I'm gonna try out today. I'll just hop off the sled with fuel. I'll bring some extra with me, and my minnows, and and we'll uh, go and check some stuff out today. I think uh, a little bit of exploring. Uh, it turned out good at that last lake that I explored, and I ended up catching that giant, giant, biggest ever in the winter time speckle, which was super cool. So we'll see. Maybe I'll see something else. But uh, breakfast and hot coffee first. Right on. All right. Sled started okay. Got my my sleigh all hooked up, all packed up, ready to go. It's about 12 minutes uh, below zero right now. So we're gonna go do a little exploring.
Yeah, this is a different lake. I've never been here. I saw some sled tracks out here and uh, figured I'd try. Let's see. There was some slush right at the entrance. So I'm glad that I didn't get bogged down in that. Though this sled's pretty good for it. Just not like the rocket sleds where you can race way ahead. I've lost the, the plastic things, of course, broke that hold this on. It's really important you keep your blades nice and uh, sharp. And not only sharp, but they have to be aligned properly. And that's the mistake I, I've made so many times where I just, <laughs> just have a brain fart and I, and I, uh, you know, kind of tap the, uh, blades on the on the ice which is a tragic mistake wow there's like a hard crust on the snow we'll see how deep oh yeah there's the slush <laughs> there it is right there you can see it all right let's see if there's any fish in here oh this could suck well we'll try Tea colored water for sure. I'm gonna take this coat off. There. Yeah, good, not very deep. So this could be a speckle lake. Movement on the middle. All right. Let's start there. And then I'll go deeper. If we don't see anything. Good. Hmm. Nice lake, beautiful lake, man. Pretty dramatic cliffs right there. Oh, it's so nice to have sun. You could see where somebody else is fishing here, so that's why I figured I'd try here. It's off a little point where somebody was cutting some firewood. And I could see the sled tracks go down further. So there'd be maybe other spots down there, but the lake is much, much bigger than I thought. I thought it was just a little beaver pond, but it sure as heck isn't. It's a nice lake. Cool. Let's see what happens. Got my SLR hooked up and my charger to charge up my bank that I brought off my brother. Lean times right now with COVID. But I'm really happy to have got out again. I've got to go out with my older brother. Um, but haven't had a chance with my younger brother. Which uh, he's just working a hell of a lot. He just can't do it. But And he's got a new baby boy. I have a new nephew, Michael. And so he's busy. No ice fishing for him. Have to get Chris next time. I wish that we had the same work schedules. I'll, I'll be working heavy while he's off. But. But. It really is something here. I'll try it here for 45 minutes or an hour. I'm kind of in a narrow here. And uh, then I'll. Keep going up the trail and see what else I find. Wow, what a beautiful day. There's a bit of a wind and it's probably about, I don't know, maybe 10 below. I didn't bring my thermometer, maybe eight below, but it's very sunny and 
there is a bit of a wind, so you gotta stay pretty covered up, but I, I don't have my coat fully closed up or anything. It could be a lot warmer, you know, but still digging on the warm clothes today. And uh, just loving blue sky for once. It's beautiful. It's a bit hazy on the other side, but oh yeah. That I'm talking about right there. So, I'm not catching Jack here. I mean, I'll give it a bit more. I'm at three different depths, you know, kind of in a narrows. So, it should be good. But it ain't. <laughs> How's that for English? It just isn't. Wow, well, man, there's some good standing dead wood here. Not far away either for that one. I can take that one. Anyway, yeah, it's awesome here. It's beautiful. But I can see for whatever reason there's slush here. Anyway, it's good to be out here. I'm grateful that I can be, for sure. To have the sled and the stuff to be able to come out and be in this environment. Gives me time to think I'm off the grid completely. There's no signal anywhere near here at all. And so it's radio silence, you know, which is unusual in today's day and age. Oh, there's a message. There's a light. You know what's really funny is I literally have a camera on my head and I didn't freaking use it. Let you go. Writing down. I'm trying to get it out, but there you go. Let go of my line, please. Look at how strong that guy is. I don't know how to try. Oh my god. Ah. Let go of the line, bud. There. I don't know if you're able to see any of that. I hope so. I'll have a look in a bit. Uh, oof. That's cold. Well, that's cool. <laughs> that's funny. I was just talking about moving. But it tells me that there's fish in here. So, that's kind of cool. Oh my gosh. It happens fast, so you don't, you know, in, in the winter time, you don't move so fast. At least I don't. Oh, oh I gotta dry my hands. I always bring a towel, which is frozen solid, of course. But it does absorb. So I can put my gloves on, be warm again. There. Can't let your hands get too cold because it can be hard to warm them up sometimes. That was cool. Packing up. We're moving on. can see that somebody camps here in the summertime so I'm gonna try it in front of here just for lack of anywhere to try I'm near a point here we'll try see oh yeah that's nice water 
better than the last lake. You can see the water creeping up. So much snow load, it's pump, it's bending it. I have no idea where I am. I'm just continuing down that trail. So I think that was the Ministry of Natural Resources outpost uh, cabin on that lake. I've never been down here. So uh, hopefully it doesn't turn into a nightmare. Somebody turned around here. Yeah, there's no going across that, man. At least I'm not. The otter loves it. You can see his tracks. <laughs> you can access open water here. Whoa. Yeah. And I think he went and turned around on that lake. He On that pond, he did. Wow, I'm going to just turn around and freaking here. This is cool, so you can't go beyond this. I wonder how long ago this broke. So cute, you can see those otter tracks. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, through there, because he can access this. Uh, yeah, and if there's otters, there's fish, always. You can see his tracks there. I could see tracks down there too where he's been messing about. Wow. Very cool. Tempted to fish here. But I think I need to think about turning my sled around. No otter. Love that. <laughs> Alright. Well, I got her turned around. Oops. I came off. And uh, now we'll reattach this. All right, climb my way out of here. This is my brother Chris's favorite spot, and you can see why. It's like we're up in the trees, because it goes way down. And they're all big trees, and oh, it's beautiful. I guess the road is built on a ridge, and it is awesome up here. Back on my speckled trout fishing lake. Beautiful evening. Just decided to come back one more time because I'm planning to leave tomorrow. <laughs>